next we're going to start our topic advanced routing part one so the topics that we're going to cover today they are parallel sequence alternative sequence alternative manufacturing processes production versions reference operation sets and its use material master update using the lead time scheduling so first of all let us start with parallel sequences so what is parallel sequences in routing so in general the meaning of parallel sequence is that once a operation is running in parallel we can run another operation so in some of the industry it is possible for example if a material is going through say five different work centers five different machines then what can happen is when the process is happening on machine number 20 say second operation we can also run the other operation in parallel to the operation number 20 so that's what it is known as parallel sequences so here you, in the screen you can see um, you know operation number 20 when the operation number 20 is running between 20 and 30 we can run some other operation in parallel so here the operation in parallel can be number 20 you can give some number to the operation that we'll see practically in a minute so 20 25 and third and 30 which, which will come back to this one again so to, uh, only 25 operation number we can run between 20 and 30 so same way here you can see between 40 and 60 we can run some other operations as well so as the name is saying parallel parallel so that means more than one operation can be can run can be run or can planned as well uh, in SAP so let us do some practical and then I'll come back to the theory so here I will go to the routing I already created a material called uh, advanced routing one so we'll be using this material so if I go into the routing so here as we have created the routing in previous topics so same way I have created this routing as well now to create the parallel sequence you need to click on this uh, sequence tab on the top so click on this sequence tab so here always you will see zero as by default that's a standard screen you will always see so here we're going to create a parallel sequence so to create a new one you can click on this little create button click on that it will ask you whether you want to create an alternative sequence or parallel sequence so we'll talk about the alternative sequence in a minute so let us select parallel sequence say okay so here accept all the default values and here give some description to this parallel sequence so what do you want to call to this parallel sequence so here for example I will call it cut and paint sheet metal so by the time the machine is running doing some operation we can also cut cut and paint the metal pieces maybe this is an example so here you can see branch operation and and return operation so here if I open the return operation that means once this parallel sequence will complete what will it be the returning operation so it will return back to which operations I can say here I can see only two operation because we got two in the routing so I can say 20 is the second operation will come back and it will be going from branch operation so here I can select first operation so starting between the first operation and the second operation it will be um, running or you can leave it blank if you want so here for example um, I will say that between 10 and 20 we want to run this parallel sequence operation so once you are done here then click on this operation um, button so here basically what here it will show you a new screen that means here we need to mention what work center we're going to use in this parallel sequence so let me define it here again so here we have say routing for a material 
and then we had operation number 10 and we had operation number 20 so that's on work center so I'll say work center 1 that is on work center 2 so what we're doing here is we're saying that between first and second we want to run a parallel operation so that means between this time when the machine is running between this time another operation can be run so here we can say as uh, I will say parallel operation so here you need to define that what we're doing is cut and paint paint sheet metal so I can say this is called cut and paint sheet metal so in the parallel sequence as well obviously you need to give the work center and what you're going to do here same like here we have given so here we can give some operation within this one I can say operation number 10 within the parallel sequence only is this say work center 3 for example and here uh, you can as add many as operation as you want so I can say 20 work center say 6 for example so these are the work center will be used only for within the parallel operation so here you can see we are here cut and paint sheet metal so same way like we used work center before so I can enter some work center here uh, let me enter some data like we used earlier so I can say 100 is a quantity plus enter so enter some machine time I can say 50 minutes 90 minutes is the say, setup time press enter so here we are so we entered one work center for the parallel sequence only here you can enter as many as the operation you want so once you are done go back go to first operation and go back to sequence again so here you will see the new parallel sequence that I just created so I created one parallel sequence and the name is this it's between this and this operation so let me save it first it is saved so let me go back into the routing CA02 and here go to the sequence again and here you can see this one this parallel sequence here select that and if you click on this little button op uh, second last button on the right hand side which is operation graphic let me click on it it will show you the same thing in graphical form for example put the cursor here and click on this expand all button so here it will show you that from between the operation number 10 and 20 this parallel operation is running the green one that you can see here and that green operation is using this and this work center so whatever work center you have used in the parallel sequence they will appear here if you use more than one so let, let me show you this one if you go to operation of the parallel sequence again so if I enter say another one Um, here I can say this one is for uh, cut sheet metal and this one is for paint paint machine for example and go back go to sequence again select that and click on the this button again operation graphic put the cursor here and click on this expand all so here you can see I got now two operations within the parallel sequence so here the graph is pretty much clear you can see on the top one which is the blue one the the bluish one got first operation and second operation and between first and second we got a parallel sequence that you can see here so this way you can add as many as parallel sequences as you want so let me save it so let us so this is how you can create parallel sequence so let us see some theory about the parallel sequence the parallel sequence are special type of overlapping operations that can be used in various industries a parallel sequence enables you to process several operations at the same time it is carried out at the same time as the corresponding section in the standard sequence as I said it will be carried out at the same time when the